Get out of here, you little bitch. Come at me. Come at me again. Where'd you go? So glad my windows are closed. My neighbors don't think I'm a freaking weirdo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My mom was visiting me for a few days, so I wasn't able to film, but here we are. I cannot believe how quickly the day went by today. Like I woke up super early to help my mom get ready to leave. And then I came back and took a nap and didn't wake up till 10.30, which was great because I had a lot of trouble falling asleep last night. So I like slept in super late and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get all this shit done today. And then, it just flew by. Like I had to do so many different things, just like random little things that just take forever. So here we are, it's like the sun is set. I just finished my makeup to film this video and we're gonna get started with it. Also don't know why I'm breaking out right now, but it is what it is. So I have a bag of empties that I've actually been accumulating for a little while now. And the reason being is that because I get so many random new products all the time doing what I do, thankfully, and I'm grateful for it, there is never a lack of product around and I'm, you know, it's my job to try new things. I rarely run out of something because I'm always trying new things. And I do continually use things that I really, really like, but sometimes it's like, even though I really, really like it, I only use it every now and I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth, do I? No? Okay, cool. We're gonna go ahead and get into the video and I'm excited to share with you some empties that I finally use the last of. And oddly enough, a lot of these are not makeup. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, I wanted to show you guys a super cute scrunchie. So one of my friends, she has a shop where she takes designer vintage bags and she makes little cute scrunchies with them like this. She also does some really, really rad jewelry, like Chanel pieces and some like really, really fun stuff that you're never gonna find anywhere else because she takes elements of the um, designer brands and like makes really, really rad jewelry out of them. And now she's making these little scrunchies. So uh, she's got a bunch of different ones and they're one of a kind. She doesn't have any two of the same one, I don't think. I will link her for you guys in the description box below, but her um, shop is called Urban Alchemy. Um, and I think her Instagram shop Urban Alchemy. I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, shout out to her. Thank you for the super cute scrunchie. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go through some of my empties. Some of these I don't even remember that they're in here because they've been sitting in this bag since before I moved. Okay, first things first. This is um, one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners. This is the Amica, uh, the Cure Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. I This bag is too small to fit the conditioner or the shampoo in there too. So this is a conditioner. This just has really helped my hair regain health and just shine and I have very fine thin hair. So anything I can do to help my hair be healthier and grow, it's something that I use a lot of. So I've actually gone through quite a few of these and Amika was kind enough to send me like a giant pump bottle of this. Um, I do also have a discount code for Amika if you would like to save. I will put that on the screen as well. They have really, really awesome products and hair masks and everything. I'm actually almost finished with um, one of the hair masks. It's called Soul Food. So this is a really great shampoo and conditioner if you have fragile hair and you want to keep it in your head. <laughs> this will help you out. I actually use the Brow Blade by Urban Decay in a few different shades. And I actually had about six of these that were empty that I was literally hoarding on my makeup desk for this exact video. And finally I was like, okay, dumbass, you're not gonna film this video. And I tossed them. So this is actually full, but I had like, so many of these empties. So this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is my absolute favorite brow product of all time. Before this came out, I'm not gonna call myself a genius or anything, but I did say I really wish somebody would make a brow product that has the um, small inky parts on one of the sides like this to make really fine little strokes. And also the um, pencil on the other side. So they did that with this and they killed it. This product is by far the best brow product I have ever used in my entire life. I hope that they never stop making this. If they do, I'm gonna be one fugly bitch and I'm not gonna know how to do my eyebrows because this is what I use right now. And while we're talking about it, I have gone through a few of these, but I didn't save them. This is the ColourPop Bra Boss Brow Gel. I also use this on top in light brown and dark brown. 
So I wanna go over a couple of the shades of this that I do use because I do to create like a kind of a more 3D look and I'm aware that you guys are have been asking for an updated brow routine, which I'd love to do for you. I just have been deciding whether I wanna make it into a YouTube video or like an IGTV video. So if you have a preference, let me know. I will do whatever you ask. This one I use in dark drapes. This is the darkest shade that I do use. And then I also have Brunette Betty that I use as well as Cafe Kitty. Sometimes I feel like one of them, like Brunette Betty is a little too like warm for me. So then I'll add a little bit of this in there. I just do this to add dimension to the brows. So this is the best brow product I've ever used. So I highly, highly recommend it. I realize that the price tag is a little higher than some brow products out there that you can get, but it is worth it. I typically go through one of those every single month. Fantastic product. If you want amazing brows, I got you covered. That's what you need. Amazing. Next is uh, in the skincare department. It is the Murad Hydrating Toner. Um, so this says rebalances and rehydrates skin. I have a kind of an uneven skin tone and that's because I have really, really fair skin and whenever I have a pimple, what side is on this one, and I pick it, it stays red for a really long time. So products that um, balance my skin tone and overall pH of my skin and hydrates is like so important to me and I notice when they don't work because I'm just, I'm just, distracted by my skin. So this is one that I find really, really works. And I, you know, toners are confusing. I was saying, and then I got distracted because some are meant to just be spritzed on your skin. And then some are meant to be put on a cotton pad. So you always have to look at the directions. This one says not to, to, to leave it on, but I actually um, don't follow the directions with this. And I put it on a cotton pad and it helps like get all of the makeup off. Um, Cause I'll usually use like an oil to remove my makeup and then I'll use a cleanser and then I'll use toner. And it says also restores pH balance and neutralizes surface impurity. I also, speaking of balancing skin tone, wanted to say I've used two products recently that have even my skin tone so much and they are incredible. Like I noticed it the next freaking day. Um, and it is good molecules. There's two products and I can't remember what they're called at the moment, but I will put um, a link to those in the description box below. I posted on my Instagram story and I know that a few of you actually went and purchased those based on my Instagram story and like truly work so well. You guys know that I don't recommend products that I don't truly believe in. I know how hard everybody works their, for their money because I do the same thing too. Like I never am going to forget what it's like to make $9 an hour. I used to work a desk job. I used to be a server. Like I know like you all work very hard for your money is the point I'm trying to drive home. And I would never recommend a product to you if it didn't truly work. So the next morning, I swear I like walked by a mirror and I like was like, I had to do a double take. My skin looked so clear and like so balanced. And I don't know where this little fucker came from, but anyways, it balances skin tone and um, evens out your skin tone in general. It's, that has nothing to do with acne. So anyways, amazing stuff. I highly recommend. This is actually from the same line as this one. It's the resurgence line. This is the renewing eye cream. As I have gotten into my thirties, eye cream has been more important than ever. I have always thought that skincare is preventative for the most part in your twenties, like you should definitely be packing it on and taking really good care of your skin because it is going to catch up to you like that. So this is something that I've been using for a really long time. And I would say for 31, I don't have very many wrinkles. Granted, um, we have been in quarantine for a little while. <laughs> you bitch needs some Botox. You know, other than that, I, I think I, uh, I think I've done pretty well ever since I met Nick. I have to be honest. I've gotten way more eye wrinkles because he makes me laugh and smile so freaking much that He's gonna have to start buying my eye cream pretty soon. That's that's all there is to it. This is by uh, Lush Cosmetics. It's a shampoo. It's mango, papaya, kiwi, and pineapple shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo, which as someone who doesn't wash their hair that often, having a clarifying shampoo that really cleans your strands without leaving them dehydrated and nasty is super key because you need to remove all of the buildup that's on your hair. This fly is distracting me so much. Um, you need to remove the buildup on your hair because you've got buildup of dry shampoo, oil, color, etc. And this is actually one of the shampoos that I use when I am, um, well, not anymore because I don't have any more. I really need to go buy some more of this. This is one that I use 
when I'm wanting to switch hair colors, like I'll make sure I take hot showers with clarifying shampoo and I'll do that like a couple times a day. And that really, really helps flush the hair color out of your hair. And um, Lush Cosmetics doesn't send me anything. So I, I do purchase these. Clarifying shampoo is super, super important. And I really need to get on that. I need to get another one of those. So really good one if you're looking for something to like clean your hair strands without drying them out and making them too brittle. Now, I won't say that these are super magical products. I would say almost every makeup remover in this form, like the liquid form that I've used, generally pretty much the same. Um, the difference is that this one, the NYX one is small, so it's good to travel with and it's quite affordable. That one's really great. It really removes eye makeup super, super well. Um, and this is also another one. You can kind of see the product moving around there. This is the Ofra Too Faced Makeup Remover. I really like this package because you get a ton in here. Let me see. Like this is 2.8 and this is 3.4 fluid ounces. The other thing that I really like about this too is it is a little squirt bottle like that or a little um, pump. So you can kind of precisely put this wherever you need it, even if you're just putting it on your finger or a cotton tip or whatever. So I really like this one. I also have a discount code for Ofra if you um, choose to use it. And while you're on there, get one of their highlighters. Their highlighters is like the bombest highlighter I've ever used, except for the one I formulated with Urban Decay. Now this next product is not really like an empty. I've just used them a lot and I've gone through a few packages and I just recently bought another package. But these are these little guys. Oh look, I picked one that matched my hair. These are great. They help you get off your peach fuzz on the side of your face. They help you get off your mustache. They help you get off your uni and any hair like in here or whatever. Lord knows I really need to use this, but anytime I'm like noticing a little bit of a mustache or too much peach fuzz over here or whatever, I'll use this and it just gently removes the hair and all the peach fuzz. These are really inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Ulta. You can get them at Walmart, Target, like literally these are anywhere they sell like any sort of cosmetics products. I believe that these are typically found where the like tweezers and stuff are. This is always great to have. They usually have covers, but super cheap. They come in different colors and they're just, super useful. So this guy is very oily and messy. This is the Phyto Replenish Oil by Dermalogica. I have been using this for a couple years now or a few years, I think. And this is just a nice replenishing oil that like helps repair, um, I don't wanna say this wrong. It says, feather light treatment oil reinforces the skin's protective barrier. Next generation formula rapidly absorbs to replenish protective lipids depleted by aging and environmental stress. You press a few drops of this, four to six drops into your skin after you cleanse and it just really helps my skin stay moisturized and kind of like gives it like a more youthful, like fluffy, uh, I don't know how to say. It like tightens it up but plumps my skin up in a non-puffy way, if that makes sense. Next, we're gonna talk about some brow products that I actually got and had been using like insane in, before I got the brow blade. So this is kind of my second favorite brow product, I would say, and I actually have three of them here because they're kind of very similar. So this is a little hourglass brow micro sculpting pencil. And the reason why I love these is because the way that this is shaped, I don't know if you can tell, but it's slightly oval. And so it's really fine to be able to create little hairs. And the other thing about this is that I love that it has one of these little brushes. It's one thing that, that the brow blade is actually missing. It would have been kind of cool if they put that on like the cap or something. So I actually keep one of these because it's such a fine little brush that it's precise and helps me get my brows because I don't have a whole lot of brow hair to be working with, you know what I mean? I really like this one. And um, I used this up in the shade Dark Brunette. And then I also had a secondary shade of this that I use soft brunette. So same thing with the brow blade. I would actually uh, layer these and to get like a 3D kind of effect with my brows. Now we have another freaking bug crawling on my light over here. So this product is very similar to the Hourglass product, except it is a round pencil, but it's very, very, very fine. You can tell how tiny it is. This is the Sigma Fill Plus Blend Brow Pencil, and this is in medium, shade medium. So essentially it's the same thing as this one. I don't remember what the price points are on these, but I'm just gonna go ahead out on a limb and say that the Sigma one's probably a little bit cheaper. I also do have a Sigma discount code if you wish to use that as well, but these are some other brow products that I really like. So maybe you would prefer these over the brow blade if you're not gonna use like the little liquid side. Because they are such thin, fine pencils, they do go quickly. 
So just keep that in mind. Like you're probably gonna go through that quicker than like a fat, girthy brow pencil that has like a lot of product in it. Girthy, that was, usually don't talk about brow pencils in such a way. Last but not least, we have a couple skincare products. And I feel like right now is a really good time for skincare too, because it's like, we all have the time right now to do this mask and that mask and this eye cream and that one and this face oil, because we have time right now to take care of our skin, which honestly, we should always be making time to take care of our skin because you're gonna pay for it later if you don't. But, and don't fucking sleep with makeup on your fucking dirty face. Don't be a dirty little whore and sleep with makeup on your face. It's bad. I'm gonna reach through the screen and slap you in the face if you ever do that. Don't do it. Let my my fucking voice pop into your head if you're about to go to sleep and you got makeup on and you're drunk AF. Go to the bathroom, you dirty bitch, and wash your face. Okay, now that I got that out of my system, I don't know where that came from. So this is the Ole Heinrichsen. Is that even how you say it? I don't know. Uh, Ole Heinrichsen. Ole Ol Heinrichsen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. So this is one that you do put on a cotton pad. So I usually use this one like in the morning when I'm trying to control oil because I'm gonna be putting makeup on for the day, etc. But I also use it at night too. It's part of the balance um, line. Collect, collection. It says green fusion complex, neem seed oil, salicylic acid, and AHA's green fusion complex and then all of that in a different language. Yeah, I really actually love the way that this smells too. It smells like um, tea tree oil a little bit. Okay, this next product uh, is one of my favorite. Um, now, what is the difference between tonic and toner? I don't really fucking know. So I use it all. I just, all of it, just do me up. I want all of it. So this product, I've gone through so many bottles of this and oh, I even have some left in this one. This is uh, the It Miracle Water 3-in-1 Tonic. So anti-aging, skin brightening, radiance boosting, anti-aging treatment essence, whatever the fuck that means, skin softening, micellar cleanser. So I'll do my oil and get my makeup off. Then I'll white wash that off and then I will cleanse my face and then I will go in with a toner. And a lot of times it'll be this one because this one removes so much of the remainder of, like you oil your face then clean it and then you use this on a cotton pad and you come back to me and you tell me how clean you thought your face was and it wasn't because this shows up and does its job and like your cotton pad will be freaking filthy and you're like if I had stopped there I would have slept with all of that debris and nastiness on my face this will do the trick for you this stuff is awesome. And the founder of It Cosmetics actually used to have some really bad rosacea on her skin. So she worked with actual like dermatologists to create this makeup line. So a lot of their makeup products and skincare products are kind of like multi-purpose and there are like skincare built into the, the makeup. Really great brand in general. I really like a lot of It Cosmetics makeup and uh, products. I think that kind of does it. If, if I find something else or think of something else, I'll put it in my next video in 10 years when I have other empties. If you're still with me, thanks for that. And thank you for making it this far. Leave a diamond emoji in the comments below so that I know that you made it this far. Um, I really hope that you guys uh, get an opportunity at some point to try a couple, any of these products that you think sound right for you. I hope you guys enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.